Welcome to the next episode of Common Sites Journey Through Berlin. My name is Maike and I'm a Senior Project Manager at Common Site. Everybody has heard about the Berlin Wall, has maybe even seen it and a certain perception of it. Most of you may know the wall from the East Side Gallery, a 1.3 km long open air gallery and the longest continuous section of the Berlin Wall still in existence. 118 artists from 21 countries transformed it into an open-air gallery and commented with their paintings on the political changes in the years 1989 and 1990. You certainly also know Checkpoint Charlie, which was one of the most famous crossing points between East and Western Germany. Checkpoint Charlie is not only one of the most important sites of the Cold War, but has also been seen of numerous attempts to escape from East Berlin. And then there's Brandenburg Gate, which during the Cold War stood in an exclusion zone in an arc of the wall, inaccessible for locals and visitors. Today, Brandenburg Gate symbolizes a reunited Berlin and is one of the most iconic landmarks and often the first site that people visit when they come to Berlin. The wall that divided Berlin from 1961 to 1989 is nowadays a wonderful hiking and bike trail which shows sites of historic interest with traces or remains of the old wall but also stretches of natural beauty. Just like Mauerpark, where today families, hipsters, joggers and cyclists are at home. A very impressive open-air exhibition is the one at Bernauer Straße, which is located directly on the border strip and gives a moving insight into the division of Berlin. As you are now an expert of the Berlin Wall, you should also know that you find a cobblestone line all over Berlin that indicates the course of the wall throughout the city and is a good reference point to spot the wall when you are strolling through Berlin. Music